Hey everybody, Brandon here from CAD Intentions, and in today's video, we're gonna be taking a look at drawing template files or DWTs. We're gonna take a look at what to do with them if you receive them from a client, why you should be using them, and how you can get some of your own. Let's jump right into today's video. All right, so jumping in, I'm sure the majority of you have seen or heard of DWTs or drawing template files. When you first open up AutoCAD, the blank drawing one is from a DWT or drawing template file. Every time you click new drawing or type in new or Q new, this is going to create a new file from a template file. You can see when I hit new there, it opens up the select template dialog box. This is a default save location from AutoCAD, and this is where you can save your DWD files. I'm also going to show you a little later in the video where you can uh, change where your DWTs are saved if you want to create your own template folder on, say, your C drive or a server. Now, choosing from your list, uh, initially you're only going to have a few depending on which version of AutoCAD you're using, but you're going to have the ACAD DWT. This is the standard AutoCAD drawing template, and it doesn't really have much in it. We're going to create a new drawing using this template, but you can see down here I've got a few, and we're going to talk about the other ones in a little bit. Hitting open from your drawing template is going to give you a drawing that is blank except for what's included in that template file. Now you can include things like different text styles, layers, line types, layouts, including title blocks, which is what we're going to touch on next, in your DWT. The template file is a great way to start a drawing fresh that is consistent with previous drawings you've done and conforms to a company or client standard. Many times a client may request that you use their template or DWT file. This can happen a lot if you're working with government or city projects. They'll want you to use their templates, which include their line types and styles already built in. Now, to do this, you simply need to save that DWT in your default template folder or change the path of that folder to where you've saved your city templates that you've downloaded. Now, to change where AutoCAD is looking for the template file, simply type in Options and choose the Files tab here in the top left. Now, you can see down here under Template Settings, if you hit the plus sign, you can see Template File Location. Now, hitting plus here is going to show you where your default template folder is. Now, you can simply click inside there and copy, so Control c to copy that path. And then opening up a file explorer, you can paste it in at the top here and go right to that template folder, which is in your Autodesk folder under template. Now, this is where you can save any template files that you receive from, say, a client or that you download or, say, purchase from my website. Now, that leads us to the next part here. I'm going to show you a custom template that, say, you can get uh, off of the CAD Intentions site or on various other locations on the internet. If you download either the uh, title block packages from the CAD Intentions site or the AutoCAD Fundamentals course, which I'm going to include a link up above and down below, you'll get templates for either of those. The Fundamentals course templates are different than the uh, gold, silver, and bronze templates but they're all going to interact and be used the same way. I'm going to unzip one of the folders. So this example files is one that you get if you say download the fundamentals course. I'm going to right click on it and extract it here. And you're going to see the examples files folder. And in it, you can see the example template that you learn to create in the course, and it comes free as well. So we're going to open this template here. So I'm just going to copy it and paste it into that template folder. And now going back into AutoCAD, we can create a new drawing and choose example template. Now hitting open is going to open this template. And by default, you've got a handful of different title blocks in various sizes and orientations. 
already preloaded into your drawing. So as I mentioned, this is going to help keep your drawings consistent by having the same title blocks, the same templates, the same sizes in every new drawing you create. But you can also load it with any of the textiles and layers that you tend to use consistently. You can see when I hit this layer drop down now, we've got all of the AIA uh, standard architectural layers that can be used and modified as you need in each new drawing. If we go back to the default ACAD template, you can see that no stock layers come with it and just the basic text and dimension styles are gonna be included in there as well. As I mentioned, if you don't already have a DWT, A, you can pick one up from the Fundamentals course on my website or one of the title block packages that come with the title blocks preloaded. Or if you're with a larger company, you probably already have one. Or if you're working for bigger clients, you can ask for theirs. Drawing templates are an easy and simple way to speed up your workflow and keep things consistent. As I mentioned, you should be loading in all of your commonly used layers and textiles at the very least, as well as a handful of layouts, including different size title blocks, depending on the types of drawings you do, whether that's A, B, C, or D sizing, that's gonna depend on your job and the type of work you're drawing. But as I mentioned, DWTs are super easy to use, as you've seen, and easy to open and modify. If you have any questions, don't forget to leave them down in the comments below. I'm happy to answer any questions and point you in the right direction. Cheers, and have a good one.